Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Eating Cross. All right, so um, it is well past <laughs> midnight now, but I've got some uh, reliable-ish internet. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that today I will actually be able to have some uh, some reliable internet, and uh, maybe even uh, stream or make some more videos. Um, for a lot of you guys who don't know, uh, I. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Let's get to this update. So, we have unlocked an avatar board. Uh, congratulations. We have Captain Goofy. And if you see there, we have a couple of skills. Now, I already know what's in here. Uh, let's check this out. All right. Uh, there was my ranking for... Oh, my score. Ooh, yeah. It was not good. It was not good. My score was not good, guys. Um... Kind of needed these skills a little bit before, but it's okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, both these avatar boards and what it means for us right now, <coughs> including what we're going to be able to do with these awesome skills. Uh, yeah, I said I had reliable internet, and this thing's the one connect. That's great. All right, um, so we're just going to go straight into the notice. Uh, don't forget, guys, that uh, today we are also going to... You know what? I'll talk about it at the end of this video. Uh, let's talk about the avatar boards first, and then we're going to talk about the maintenance that is incoming and what it means to us. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here. Let's go to notices. And, um, all right, so we've got uh, version 2.6.0 update preview volume 3. We've got get ready for the PvP Keyblade Challenge. And Captain Goofy avatar boards. Now, personally for me, I am both... Let's go look at the avatar boards first, and then we'll look at what the update means. So, Captain Goofy avatar boards. Available period, May 17th to May 28th. Lead the Royal Knights with the Captain Goofy avatar boards. are 2,500 jewels apiece. Each board includes a set of avatar parts, boost medals, including three magic broom medals, a magic gem, a plus a trio of useful skills. Dress your character up with Captain Goofy avatar parts. Who cares? Let's just get to the important part get attack boost 6 max and gauge 2 attack boost 5 max and lux plus plus yes that is a double plus and defense with 4 who cares defense with 4 uh, I can't believe that's a defense with 4 and not even the max they should have just done the defense with 3 max uh, contents of limited time avatar boards. Captain Goofy, Captain Goofy Helm has an item drop perk of three and all the other stuff. All right. Okay. So. Attack boost six max engage two. Uh, if you buy both avatars, you're going to be looking at two of those and two AB5 max Lux plus plus. Now these, yes, they are not your regular Lux plus skills. These are Lux plus plus um which means i guess they give double I, I exactly i actually did a quick little look i couldn't find it if anyone can let us know exactly the percentages of a plus plus how much exactly does a plus plus actually give us if you know please let us know down below in the comments uh but anyway let's go take a look at these um actually you know what before we go let's let's stay in the news so on may 17th uh a couple of days ago on a week five days ago on the 12th, they told us that on May 17th, there will be a two-hour maintenance being performed. Um, so from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. That maintenance has already passed. Um, the, say, the servers were down. I actually went to do a, a video at the time. And actually, no, I couldn't even connect to the internet. So I don't know. Can if, if anyone out there can let me know, was this maintenance performed? Was it done? Was there anything you know that happened? If you know, please let us know. I would really appreciate it. But why is that maintenance happening? Version 2.6.0 update preview arriving May 25th. So in one week, in one week, we will be getting... Oh my goodness, they're so cool looking. Look at that thing. In one week, we will be getting the new... Wow. Sorry. Seven star rarity medals. Uh, evolve your metal, all your medals to this new level of rarity. A new level of maximum rarity will be added with the release of version 2.6.0. Even better, you can evolve all medals to seven stars. 
Evolving Metal to 7 Star Rarity to greatly strengthen its parameters and special attack. In order to evolve a 6 star to a 7 star, you will need to fulfill the following conditions. The metal must be at a max level. The metal must have a maximum special attack bonus and you must have the necessary evolved metals. So introducing sub slots. What's a sub slot? So, okay. So first of all, I think that's something else. So um, we're going to have to level it up to seven stars, but we're also probably going to need some sort of evol evolved metals. Uh, so these evolved metals, I don't know that we know what they are yet. We're going to have to wait and see. What is a sub slot? Following the release of version 2.6.0, subslots will be added to each of your keyblades. By equipping metals in these subslots, you can increase your keyblade slot multipliers. As you can only equip 7 star metals in these subslots, try to evolve as many metals to 7 stars as you can. So it's yet another pet dynamic. And it looks like equipping a bunch of metals, the only thing it's going to do, it's going to take you to... Well... It doesn't look like the multipliers are that high. But if you were to reach maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.4, something like that. I mean, that's 0 0.021. That's like, wow. That's like nothing. But from I can see there, if you had 10 peats, you could... Well, it's only got 9 slots. You could almost get a 0.1. Um, oh. Huh. Interesting. Who's that Sora? Who's that tier 8 Sora there? I don't recognize that Sora. Well, as always, it seems like tier 8 medals are going to have higher. It's going to have... Tier 8 medals are going to have a 0 0.02, 12. So, you know. Yeah. 9 of those is going to get you a 0.1. Oh, no, you can equip up to 120 of them. You can equip up to 120 slots? Oh, my. Okay, let's do a couple. Let's do some really quick math here. Uh, let's say you equip them with... Um, let's say you equip them with tier 5 medals. That's going to be a 0. 0.6 if you get 120 medals in there. Is there a tier... Uh, there's a tier 4. Is there a tier 3? I want to know if there's a tier 3. 120 times, let's see. I'm guessing tier 3 is going to be 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.003. So that's going to be a 0 0.36 if you up if you load it up just with tier 3 medals, hopefully. But if you had 120 tier 8 medals, maxed out tier uh star 7 star tier um what's it called? <coughs> 7 star um tier 8 medals. Wait, no way. No way, man. You'd be looking at a 1.44. Wow. It's a whole new level of, uh, of, of finding metals. We need a lot more space then. Uh, by equipping metals in these subsets, like, like, like you can get 120 tier 8 metals so easily. <laughs> by equipping metals in these subsets, you can increase your keyblade slot multiplier so you can only equip level so so uh, Get cup and story quest fast, introducing the skip feature. With the version 2.6 update after you complete a story quest, all following quests in the same quest line will now be unlocked automatically. So then you can just go to the last one and skip a bunch of them. New players or players who have fallen behind story mode can use this feature to get up quickly all right so that is a huge change guys this is a huge change man all right those are beautiful those are beautiful though um get ready for pvp with the keyblade challenge okay so there's the next keyblade challenge um i was able to finish the last one i believe i'm gonna get this one done uh right away so we can go through and get these of course guys in one week one week we are going to see I was, wait, is PvP? Yes, PvP will be coming then. PvP will be coming because that's the only way that we're going to get the evolved materials to get them to tier to seven star. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, let's go get these Avatar Wars. Let's check them out. All right, so we're going to get one of the Avatar Wars. I want to take a look at the percentages of the Plus Plus. plus, plus. Uh, let's go ahead and get it. For a second, I thought that cost 31,400 jewels. I'm like, what? There's a slight little mistake there. All right, let's go ahead and get Captain Goofy, Captain Goofy's helm, 
Captain Goofy's Gauntlets. There's the Defense Boost 4. Uh, AB5 Max Lux Lux. AB5 Max Engage 2. And uh, I'm going to keep the Magic Gem for there. That's not what we really want. Right now, we're interested in these beauties right here. So, uh, let's go look for some new ones. There's my new ones. So, this is going to be the Defense. This is going to be the Lux. Uh, so, it has a trick. Okay, increase vastly increases Lux drop by enemies. Has that point? Okay. So, it just says that it vastly increases um, Lux, requ Lux uh, acquired. Okay, so definitely a Lux Metal. Uh, if for those of you who are wondering this, I mean, this is going to change once again the Lux rankings. Uh, people who get these put them on the, their strongest metal. What should you put this on? Honestly, if I were me, I would not put this on anything below tier 7, probably a tier 8. If you have a tier 8 very powerful metal, go for it. Also, um, if you're using, let's say like me, using a counterpoint setup, and you have a metal like, uh, let's let's say the new aqua or the stained glass metal, stained glass number one, uh, and you got some raid skills on it, yeah, I mean I would do it just because you're, if you're going to be using counterpoint and using just magic metals, like I do, uh, in my raid setup, um, well that's not counterpoint, is it? Um, poop. Okay. Uh, if you're using like uh, that kind of a setup, you know, uh, then possibly yes, I would actually have to move her. Uh, maybe move her into the third slot. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure something out here, uh, because actually, this mine does had does have rates. Oh my! She might be a candidate for it. She might be a candidate dropping in here. Uh, maybe putting in. Um, I think he already has Lux, doesn't he? Yes, he does. All right, let's let's do a little bit here. You know what? The only thing I'm wondering now is what about her? Hmm. I mean, does it benefit me anything at all having her there? No, because she doesn't have... Because um, we're just using magic here. Yeah, we're using pure magic here. Huh. On the third slot, does she still have a 4.0 at least? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking here, and I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, I'm going to figure this out. Uh, figure what's going on here. Maybe I'll put... A, I think I, I might put a luck skill on her. Um, I should put a luck skill on her, actually. Definitely an, a max skill on her. I think I still have an AB5 max Lux lurking somewhere. I might throw that on her. Um, but this Lux, Lux plus, plus, plus plus skill, for example, I would not put it on my nominee because she's a tier 5. Would I put it on my FFRK Terra? No, because I already have a 5 plus max Lux on her. Uh, would I put it on my Key Art 13? Uh, probably not because it's tier 6. So, if I'm looking at the newer medals that I have, uh, if I got a newer medal, let's say if I got, you know, Armor of Ericus and he had uh, raids, maybe I'd put it on him. Uh, if I had Scar with raids, maybe I'd put it on him. Uh, it just depends. The Lux Plus Plus skill definitely, though, I would highly recommend you put it on a heavy hitting metal. Uh, having said that, though, even though you were to put it on the stained glass EX metal, and you would have this metal in the, la in the at the very end of your Keyblade, it's still going to do a 3.28 um, multiplier. Uh, <coughs> added on to like a pet slot with a 3.1, you're still looking at almost you know it's it's a very high multiplier. Um, it's probably kind of worth it. I kind of wish that these two slots were reversed. I wish that this was an upright slot and this was a reverse slot. If that was the case, this would be a little better. But you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, I'll probably try both and see which what I get more Lux with. But great skills. Uh, you know what? Before I even forget, I'm going to go buy the other one. Because if I, me if I mess up, who cares? Uh, here we go. Uh, the other thing this is going to really change for a lot of us is if you have not completed the Lexius event yet... Uh, I haven't because I've been kind of hoping that we would get with these avatar boards. I was hoping we would see an AB5 uh, Max Gage Zero um, for the Lexius event for number 13 because I will be trying to do it with Darkna. Uh, so going in with Darkna does mean for me that I need with Nakna. So um, going in with this setup does mean that I want to do... Uh, let me just go to my Darkna setup really quick. Um, boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> it does mean that Scar still doesn't have anything. Uh, Scar needs something. So, 
Uh, going in with this setup, I think uh, I probably will be looking to... Oh my goodness, stained glass metal also has rates. Uh, I don't know what to do. I know I'm going to be copying Warrior of Light. Um, wow. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of realizing that I could actually make myself a raid setup out of here too. Um, oh, dude, man. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I need to make some choices and some decisions here in my life because um, we're going to need to figure out uh, a setup here, especially once I also work on my Lexus. Alexis as well, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we only have two. We only have four skills here. We only got four skills here. If we actually look at the whole, if we look at this from the point of view of, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Um, this kind of gets a little crazy because, I mean, oh, he's got rates as well. <sighs> okay, so I have some tough decisions to make. I got to figure some stuff out in my life here. Um, who's going to get what and how they're going to get it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. Good luck if you have the 5,000 jewels. Definitely, definitely a great, great purchase right now. Get those jewels. Use those jewels. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.